Hello and welcome to this Learn Learn video on CCD and CMOS sensors. In this video we'll have a look at the two technologies, look at how they work and we'll compare the advantages and disadvantages and their common uses. Okay, let's get started. So, what are CCD and CMOS sensors? Well, they're the sensor inside of your digital camera or scanner or other device that's used to record light data. It uses a photosensitive pixel array and they're used to capture still images or video. Now they both have the same outcome, but they use slightly different technologies. CCD stands for charge coupled device and CMOS stands for complementary metal oxide semiconductor. They work in slightly different ways, which we'll have a look at in a little bit. Okay, so let's have a look at the capture process. Step one. Light is focused on the surface of the sensor. So using a lens and sometimes a mirror, depending on the device, the light is bent so that it lands on the surface of this pixel array on the front of the sensor. Step two, light hits the array filters. So CCDs and CMOSs can't actually detect color. Uh, they can only detect light intensity. So in order to record color data and color images, we need to use a trick. And the way we do this is we place filters, red, green, and blue filters over each of the pixels so that each pixel only records light of a certain wavelength coming through. And then later we can combine each of those three different colors to make the combined image. And uh, now we use an RGGB filter because the human eye is more sensitive to green and therefore we can detect more variation within the green than the red and the blue. So we do that to record an image that looks more natural to what we would normally see. Step three. So how do the sensor pixels work with the filters? Well, what happens is as light comes in, depending on the wavelength, if the wavelength matches the filter that's there on that particular pixel, then it will allow the light to go through. That will hit the sensor and it will cause a charge to build up on that particular sensor. If the wavelength doesn't match, then the charge won't build up. And that's the joy of using these red, green and blue filters. So different charges build up. Step four, the sensor values are read out. And this is where CCDs and CMOS sensors vary. So first of all, we'll have a look at a CCD sensor. So a charge couple device, what it does is the charge that builds up inside of each pixel, when it comes to being read out, it first gets passed along from one sensor pixel to the next, all the way along until it reaches the end. And then it comes down only when it leaves the sensor itself does the charge get converted to a voltage and then it passes along to an analog to digital converter that converts it to a digital value and then that digital value then gets passed along through to the processor for the next step. So that's how CCDs work. Step four for a CMOS sensor is slightly different. So again, the charge builds up inside of the pixel, but the charge is converted to an electrical signal within the pixel itself. And then it's passed along separately along these different rails all the way, and then gets passed through to the ADC to convert from the analog signal that's being passed along through to a digital signal. So it's slightly different. And you'll probably notice that it's quite a bit quicker than the CCD version. And that's one of the reasons why CMOS sensors are used in digital cameras and used in video cameras is because these values can be passed far, far quicker, which means that in a camera, you can have a higher frame rate for a video camera, those kind of things. Step five, demosaicing. So as we mentioned earlier, twice as many green as red and blue pixels are recorded. And what we need to do now is we need to take those three separate recordings with twice as many green and red and blue, and we need to combine those together to make the final image. 
This is known as demosaicing. With a digital camera, if you set it to JPEG mode when you're taking photos, then that demosaicing will be done in camera. However, if you set your camera to raw mode, then it will just save each of the separate RGGB data into a raw file. And then you can use a image editing software on your computer itself to do that conversion. Okay, and finally, let's compare the technology. So CCDs are the older of the two technologies. Originally, they had less sensor noise, which made them really, really useful for scientific instruments. And they're still used on barcode scanners and desktop tablet scanners, but they're considered a legacy technology. And for most applications now, they're being replaced by CMOS. And the reason being is CMOS has a faster read time due to the way that it reads the data and all of the uh, charges get converted to signals within the actual pixel themselves. So there's not that extra step in the process. Also, because of that, they use a much lower power consumption. So they're great and they're much more useful in mobile devices and any kind of device where you need to have lower power consumption. They're also cheaper to produce because there are less components. You don't need a separate amplifier or a separate charge to signal converter. And with CMOS, there's a lot more research going into it. So the technology is constantly improving, especially in regards to sensor noise. There's big improvements. So because of that, they're largely replacing CCDs and they are the main technology used in cameras and camcorders. Okay, that's CCDs and CMOS sensors. If you did like the video, then feel free to like it and subscribe to the channel for more videos. Thank you very much.